Talk to us about how revolutionary this contact tracing technology could be. Well, uh, contact tracing is actually a pretty traditional tool of public health, and we do need individuals to do the contact tracing. But what these technologies can do is act as workforce multipliers for public health. They can help them identify more contacts, especially if someone who's been sick have been in uh, a public place where they've come into contact with strangers and don't necessarily know how to tell public health to contact them. So it can really help us uh, identify more people, help put their contacts into quarantine and break chains of trans transmission so they're not passing along the virus to other people. How should Congress be doing this? Should Congress be working with the likes of Apple and Google? And you know, are there any sort of secondary consequences there? Yeah, so we've seen a lot of interest from different companies. Obviously, the, the biggest news is the Apple and Google um, partnership here. What we need to do is make sure this is coordinated at a national level. Um, states are going to be doing different things, but we need to, do need that coordination and guidance from the federal level, uh, both about how these should operate, how they should interface with public health, and how we should protect people's privacy while doing so. So how much would it cost to actually put this into effect in the entire economy, Dr. Watson? So we've estimated the cost just for the actual uh, human cost of doing this, which is to hire many, many people. We think on the order of 100,000 contact tracers need to be hired by public health agencies around the country. So uh, the cost of that is, we estimate, at least $3.6 billion. On top of that, uh, will be added the cost of the technologies, uh, and we haven't estimated that yet, but that is on top of the $3.6 billion. Assuming that, you know, various agencies could access the cash and the human capital, which I'm sure they could, how quickly could this be ramped up and how quickly could the, the, the effects sort of be pinged back to headquarters? Yeah, so I think we can do this pretty quickly. Other countries have uh, implemented this type of contact tracing initiative very quickly in this uh, in their epidemics of COVID-19. And we are already seeing uh, a number of places in the U.S. do this. Uh, the first was Massachusetts. They've, they announced their um, hiring initiative and they're going to be using technologies as well. So um, they've done that within the last couple of weeks. I think we can do this quickly if we have the will and we have the funding and support from the, the federal level. Now, there is the question of China and the fact that, for example, most Chinese customers of mobile phones use Android technology, right? But this, this particular Apple-Google uh, effort wouldn't be available on the Google Android platform in China because it's not allowed, and neither would it be available on Huawei mm -hmm. smartphones. So how would, you, how would the world get around that problem? Yeah, I think we may need to have some layered solutions here. As I said, we have the, the traditional public health epidemiology approach where you contact people and advise them on what to do. Um, we can add on to that uh, Apple and Google technology, but there may be other approaches to technology that we need to add as well. Um, I think it, there is potential that the um, technologies using Bluetooth for Apple and Google won't actually reach everyone um, in the U.S. even, um, if you don't have a cell phone that's, that's updated or um, is a lower tech type of uh, smartphone, it may not work. So we need to research multiple layers of this approach. Dr. Watson, do you think that this is a bipartisan uh, you know, uh, solution that, that, that both sides would agree to something like this? I sure hope so. This is not a partisan issue. Um, this is actually the ca capacity and capabilities we need to uh, build in order to manage the epidemics of COVID-19 in this country and, and to reopen safely. This will actually enable us to reopen more safely and to get our economy moving again. So if we just have the, the focus on this to build this capacity across the country, that's really going to be the tool we need to manage this going forward.